Hey guys, it's me. Um, this is me opening the vlog. Um, I forgot to do like an opening video for um before we left, just because um we left at like three a.m. and it was super early and I was like dead, and I just didn't look great. Um, but uh, I ended up getting to go to New York on, I'm gonna say March 16th now because I don't know officially when I'm posting this vlog. Hopefully this week, but who knows. Um, I, what was he saying? Oh yeah, I was able to go to New York, um, take a bus up for the day and, uh, and back um, with my mom and some of her friends. So yeah, and I managed to film a lot of the things that we were doing. So hopefully you guys enjoy these clips. And so hopefully I have music going along with these clips. Who knows anymore? Um, but yeah, here you go. This is my vlog.
daily vlog that I made um, of going to New York. I'm currently sitting in my room. Um, I'm watching BookTube. I'm currently watching uh, Desiree from Libu Labra's um, reading retreat video that she did with uh, Kat from For the Love of Books and Chloe from Burnett Baby the Files. Um, as you can see, it's like super cool. Um, so I'm just doing that, watching some booktube, and then, I don't know, I'm probably gonna start watching an Asian drama soon, because I'm obsessed. Um, but yeah, so like, just a quick recap, like, it was so fun getting to go to New York. Um, we went with my mom and some of her coworker friends, because it was like one of her coworkers' birthdays. Or we just took the bus up and the bus back, and yeah, it was just so much fun, and I, like, Loved it. Like, we got to go see um, Carol King, like, beautiful, the Carol King musical, which was so good. I did not know how much she contributed to, like, music and, like, the world of music. And it was so good. Like, she wrote um, Natural Woman, which was originally sang by Aretha. Like, she wrote that song. And then when she finally, I think it was, like, her second album that she put out, like, her second personal album that actually... Uh, like soared and made her super like well known as a singer as well like she recorded that song for herself and it was so cool getting to see that and then like in the musical you see like her writing these old time songs like like locomotion she wrote that and you see like what led her to write that and like in that instance and then after you see it you they like put up like you see the bands, like, of course, they're not the actual bands because these are bands from, like, the 60s. But, like, they have people come up as the bands and sing those songs, which is super cool because I didn't, like, I didn't think about the fact that all those songs were, like, written by one person. Also, like, the fact that, so she, one, skipped, I think she went to college at, like, 16, so she was really smart. And then she immediately was like, I want to be a songwriter. So I was like, of course she did. Like, she became one. I love the fact that she wrote for, like, everybody. Like, she wasn't just... Like, during that time, like, obviously, African-American groups were kind of starting to be big. But they still had to kind of fight for television time. Because not everybody, of course, wanted to see them on TV. Um, but it was super cool because she was never specific, like, on who she wanted to sing her song. She was just like, just find someone to sing it. Like, I just want my songs to be heard. And so it was cool that a lot of her songs were sung by African-American bands and singers. So that was cool also getting to see that. Um, and then we went around shopping. Um, I actually got some shoes, which I can show you here in a second, actually. So I got these cute little sandal shoes. Um, I really wanted something for the spring and summer season because um, I only have one pair of sandals. And so I saw these and I thought they were super cute. So I'm super happy I got those because they're super cute. Um, and then we went to this really good Brazilian place. I think it's called Via Bra Brazil. Um, it had really good food. I was like, I, I kind of have been dreaming about it, and I want to go back eventually. Um, and then we had to catch the bus back, so it was a long bus ride, and I slept the whole time. <laughs> but others, it was super fun. Um, I'm super grateful I was able to go. Um, yeah, it was, it was just cool. Also, oh, we went into the Amazon... Uh, store so I was really confused because someone had told me that Amazon had a bookstore so when we saw this Amazon store we were like I was like oh it's the bookstore I'm gonna go in there and I went in and they didn't really have like a lot of books so I was really confused and I was like well maybe they, they were wrong but I looked it up later so the store that I went into was an Amazon store but it was like a four star store like Amazon four star and it was just like in general things that they were selling it wasn't necessarily just books it was like everything they have two more, like, Amazon bookstores in the city. I just, like, got confused. <laughs> so, next time I'm in New York, probably for BookCon, um, I'm probably going to make it a point to go. I just want to, like, I'm probably not even really going to buy anything. I mean, who knows, because I have a Prime membership, so I could buy something. But I don't know yet. But I at least just want to go in and, like, see what it's about, because, it, I don't know, I think it's really cool that they're they have their own bookstore. Um, 
even though like ebooks are necessarily cheaper but that's just me um but yeah so that's that i just want to see what it's like in there but yeah so that is pretty much it i think that's probably going to be the last time i go to new york until BookCon, um just because of timing and life but who knows honestly my mom's really weird and she likes going sometimes like in sporadic weekends but um i kind of see that being my last time for right now but yeah um all right this is me ending the vlog thank you guys for watching um hopefully you enjoyed seeing me walk around new york